Hey guys, welcome to the 11th floor of season 22. This time our opponent is Super Andromeda Scrolls, SAS, pretty good alliance and mastery alliance. This time I'm gonna use Quack, Void and Guardian team, no Havoc this time. Okay, starting from middle again, but this time I'm gonna make a right turn. Our first opponent is Dragon Man. First and foremost, in this war, the global node is different, not stubborn, it is protect. Uh, protect uh, deals uh, if the attack says if the attacker deals more than 300% of their base attack in a single hit to size large or x large defenders a protection shield is granted to the defender reducing all incoming damage taken by 30% it stacks up to 4 and intercepting an attack removes 2 stacks and if we use a size large or x large champion as an attacker it removes the protection from size large and x large defenders when they when they knock them down so if we bring large or x large champs we have we have an advantage against them but i don't have a large and x large champion in my team now so i'm using void against dragon man void doesn't deal much damage without fear of the void Uh, parrying him to remove his power gain buff. Now taking advantage of willpower. And he's down. Our first opponent was Dragon Man now. We are proceeding with Terrax. Dragon Man was X large, so he was benefiting from the global node. So do Terrax. Terrax is a large champion. But we're gonna use Quake. Against this node, Quake is one of the best choices with large and X large champions. Because you do not hit your opponent with Quake. And even though you hit, Quake cannot deal more than her uh, base attack. She can't deal three times more of her base attack. Yeah, we are using Dexterity method now. Terrax always swings his axe. Sometimes I confuse which is the end of his medium attack. Terrax is also a control champion. He also benefits from flow global node. But we have pro protect here. Now he's down. We got full attack bonus again. Now I have shared node now. It's Nova. Nova is not a large or x large champion, he can't benefit from the global node. Before fighting I'm activating some boosts, but health boost. We have heavy hitter and power alternator. Since there is no stubborn, I can easily uh, dex using a dex method. And he's down. And sorry, I forgot to fast forward Terrax fight. Now I'm proceeding with Professor X. In section 2, I made a right turn again. We have Rage Note here. 
using Guardian is one of the best options against Professor X. Guardian is kinda castle. His defense is really good. Like, he's the best tank of the game along with Sasquatch or Manthing. But of course he needs uh, the max signature level. In here we have max signature. So since there's rage I'm always casting my SP1. Because SP2 definitely increases his rage stacks up to 5. Now control mind has passed. His fault rolls already. We are almost there. His SP2 is e more e easier to evade and he's down. Now we have Magneto here. Good choice for, for that note. We have Power Focus 2 and <laughs> Prowess. But I'm gonna use Quake again. With Dex method. Hmm, he is a little resistant. And he's down. We got our full attack bonus again. Now we have a shared node fight again. My boosts are ready. This time I used greater champion boost. Because this is destiny war. If we win, we will secure our spot in master. Now we have redoubled determination with ebb and flow intercept and crumbling armor. I'm not gonna take any risks in that fight. Uh, I'm just gonna use uh, full dexterity method. I didn't even uh, try to cancel the ebb and flow intercept note. I could have done that uh, while in con con conclusion. But there is no stopborn, so I can easily use dexterity method against Doom 2. Just like against Nova. It lasts more than two and a half minutes, but we are almost there. And he is down. Now we have two mini bosses. My boosts still remain. Our first mini boss is Domino, rank 3 6 star Domino. Gonna use Guardian against her. We have Rage again. One of the best options for, for the Rage node. But of course, gonna play with my SP1 again. Now she has Shock because uh, she lowers our ability accuracy so guardian places uh, a shock debuff on domino whenever he loses ability accuracy he does that since guardian is tech he cannot become unlucky I should only watch out Domino's lucky passive if she evades we can get struck playing safely
kind of boring to watch, but pretty fun to play. Not finishing my combo if he if she gets lucky. She keeps casting his uh, heavy attack to air. We almost half the time and she died. This was our first mini boss. Now the second one is Modok. Modok also benefits from the global node, but no stubborn. So I can easily use Quick. My boost still remain, but I'm gonna activate invulnerability boost too. If I fail to evade, uh, it will protect me. We have stun immunity and hazard shift. So my hand will be painful. Using dexterity method again. I can't use pair method, he is stun immune. Don't forget, I have invulnerability boost. If I get struck, it will protect me. Now something scary will happen here. I dropped my heavy here, but he had a concussion, so she evaded. But I, I had also invulnerable to boost, boost, just like I said. Now I fast forward the fight. Because the rest is same. And he's down. More than three minutes has passed. Now we have our we have final boss. He is mine too. My 30% green boost still remain. Also the others. I'm activating my second invulnerability boost against him because this thing benefits from protection global node and I can't deal more than my 300% uh, uh, of my attack. So I'm not gonna cast special attacks when he uh, had has have has a uh, fear of the void. Sorry.
because uh, my void has max signature level and fear of the void grants a lot of attack to void so i cannot cast my special attacks when the thing has fear of the void to prevent protect global node thing also has his own protection Its function is same with the global node. Now we have fear of the void. As I said before, I'm not gonna cast any special attacks except special tree. Without Stubborn, it is safer to play, but uh, it takes much longer. Now casting my SP3. I also forgot to activate my Resonate Mastery. It would have helped me. Now we have Fear of the Void again. Coming to the corner. So close. Now cast my L2 and he triggered protection. Global nodes protection. Now I have to perform an intercept. To remove it if void had a large or x large champion knocking uh, him down would be enough now we made our intercept and protection is removed our fear of the void activated again and also assassin mastery is about to be activated My, mass, my assassin is, uh, I guess, level 2. It grants 30% attack to Void. And now it triggered. You see, now it started to trigger protection while performing basic attacks. That's not good. I shouldn't have used 30% boost or should have deactivate, de deactivated Assassin Mastery. I must perform intercepts now. Trying. One. And we got Perry here, but indestructible. Boost protected me. He still has two protections need one intercept but intercept also can trigger his protection since we deal a lot damage fear of the void should be gone we have 15 seconds left and he's down just in time we got full attack bonus and the war is over and it resulted with victory we won our destiny war against Super Andromeda Scrolls and we secured our spot in Master. We are so happy for that. And Kev Penate is in first place. Congrats Kev. And I'm in MVP3. These are our stats. It is 17 to 10. Now claiming our victory prizes. Tier 1. 
You see, I got 9 attacker kills and 2 defender kills. My Hitmonkey and Sasquatch got kills. Now let's check our spot. We are in Master Rank 3, guys. Uh, my prediction is we will only increase up to Rank 1, but not Top 3. I think it will be like that. Thank you for watching, guys. Please remember to subscribe and like the video. I love you all. I'll see you guys next time.